last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. I'll be all of my own. Yes. Three, three for three. Alright. Four for four. Yep, five for five. And now, back to trying to ditch school. Just do it. It'll turn out okay. Uh, everyone, it's Day 98 here, and I'm back for more Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we explored the fourth floor, we found out of a chemistry lab and a music room and a teacher's lounge. But I know a few locked doors too. But now, you got me to something's happening. In the bath, we're all taking a group, big group bath. Yay, group baths! Let's get some soaking done. I oh got a dressing room. Neep. Took it was saying alone in the, on the bench, laptop in front of her. Tuggo, did you decide to come here to hear to come here to hear what Alter Eco had to say too? What's your problem? I I, I already heard it with Master. <laughs> with Mast? With Master! Oh. You only keep saying you only keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing here right doing here right now? <laughs> uh, sh shut up! S stop bothering me! How about that? Get out of the way, Mom. We had to talk to Alter Ego. Well. No, I, I made my, no, I made Master a promise. A, a promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that, that's what I'm doing. Huh? Why are you his dog? If it's what Master wants, I'll do anything he asks. Mm. You, just lo you just love being treated. You just love being tre mistreated, Mon. Mm -hmm. Well, f f fine. If you really want me gone, by all, all means. <laughs> oh boy. What the fuck? What? Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> uh, I'm like you to move, Mon. Yes. Sure thing. Just deal before me in bed. They're saying it's kneel before me and beg! What? What? First the Mega Must assist, and now it's Super Saiyan's mom! What's in Kyoko? I bought that picture from before. He's, he's being very thorough about that thing that I don't exist. I'm Tucker. Seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let's use the laptop. What? Yeah? Did you hear what I said? I tell you to deal and beg. How about that? Come on, come on, come on. Give her the one little two combo. Drop your knees. Two percents. You're acting like, like, oh, you're acting like a part of this. I was desperate as I felt. Finally, I, I, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? Oh, I'm on fire! It's an miraculous feeling of happiness! All my pent up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating! Oh. So even he realized his abuse. That's me enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay! You really came! If 
everyone, come closer. I already told Tagami, but I was finally I was finally I was finally able to crack open all the files that are on this laptop. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Correct. Hmm. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um. Yeah. Until he gets very nervous, Mon. I feel the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands have started to shake. Just a second. Move. Move. A single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to the lair to take over. So then. Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure, I, sure, sure, sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the information that I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was a certain plan had been put in effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Speak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That... I see. Is exactly the situation we find ourselves in. <coughs> it's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with this plan was... Now that the administrators of Hope's Peak Cat, Hope's Peak themselves. What? 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 Wait, hold on. And the reason we've all been in prison here is it wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way. It was the school itself. And <laughs> making sense, Mon. Why do you do that? Just a second. Hmm. I don't think I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened a year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? What, is that? what does that mean? What? Yeah, yeah Mom, can I name that for something? Mm -hmm. Otherwise known as the tragedy, tra the tragedy. It was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, wow. Hope's Peak was Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. Tragedy. Tragedy. Tragedy! Whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of dating ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. But why, but why would the hopes? But why would the hopes pick administration want to set everything down like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? And at last, Kyoko had typed, "What's the to the computer?" The answer we got was, "Sorry, Sorry I don't know. The first it was ever on this computer. It's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry." And that's all he said. What? It's really in, Mom. We're halfway through the answer, that, and that's it. Indeed. It could appear so disappointing. Oh wait. That's another one. Th that's another one thing I forgot to mention. I think it, I think it might be important. But it's, a, it's, it's a mastermind. A mastermind. Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. You forgot the mastermind's identity? 
No, I, I, I still I still don't know. I think a different clue, I think. The one the one leading the Hope Speak staff, the one who finally left the plan to isolate you, was the Hope Speak headmaster. So that the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? The headmaster's here in the school? Okay. That's got, that's got to be it. That, that. <coughs> oh, that's got to be the mastermind, I mean. My kind of been calling himself the headmaster, right? Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious. Well, he raked down, we down the door's room, Mon. We were dead, right? So what are we supposed to do, Mon? Bye. I'll, f I'll find a way. Huh? Bye. No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what. No matter the cost. So um. Yoka, what's going on? Me. I... I can't explain. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Yoka, what's going on with you? I hear about the headmaster. Her reaction was almost violent. So then. Let me just see if Ultra Eco has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt at forgetting her composure. She starts typing again. Jump, she jumped all the way back over here again. Tapping the, um, the laptop. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I found. I found. That, all the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so, so I can do it from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Ugh. It really is all over. Okay. Wait, Alter Eco has more, seems, seems to have more to say. So, um. Um, well. It's kind of a different topic, but I, I was wondering about something. Uh. I haven't seen Celeste have humor Taka since yesterday. A, sad, a heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kiko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um. I see. I certainly knew that's a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in the press over things that I can't really do anything about. Anyway. Well then, I guess that's that. That's that. Simple phrase that held so much meaning. You can type me again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? Yes, I am, huh? Okay, then. then. Maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop in her sleep mode. I see. Mm, so Alter Eagle did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to, we won't have to, talk to him that, all that much anymore. But... I kind of feel sorry for him. But... You feel sorry, Mon, but he's a computer program, right? Well... I know, but he still did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he did, but that's what we're designed to do, Mon. You don't tell a computer program you every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. When, it, when we talked to the other ego, I guess I didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel this, I pronounce the same way. Hey. hey, come on. It's just a program, Mon. You can't tell the difference between a, a program and a friend, right? But you know what's the difference between us and that program, really? Well, you know, but you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started, I started thinking about how you would, uh, you would differentiate between a person and an AI. Also, ego is a human. I know that it's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I can't help thinking of him as our friend. That's right. Yeah, he's not, yeah, he's not different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. <laughs> I think maybe I understand. <coughs> Gee, are you, are you all right? You're, you, 
Yeah, uh, coffee really bad. Coming from mom. <laughs> There's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more the merrier, right, mom? How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival, mom. And so it gets final two survival. So. So anyway. What? What? So anyway, mom. That's a totally. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from. I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more else we can do to help us. It says his role and this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but. Just a second. And frankly, I question. Uh, and frankly, I question the ease of what you decide who in is, who in isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Get very mad. Wait. The story's gone off track. To go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, good idea, Mom. What was that? What was the whole big staff's thinking? What? what? Why are they making killies? Why are they making killies, other Mom? Hmm. Alter Ego said what happened one year ago is what started everything. Yeah, yeah, he said that it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? Well, this was a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't really remember anything that could hap happen, happening that you could have described that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I only watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to, sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... Hmm. That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students are here. Maybe all the are something. Or kill something, Mon. However. The kind of the kind of catastrophe we have over the news. At least one of us will remember that. Maybe they cover. Maybe they cover it up. <laughs> That's probably why none of us that the school hasn't shut down. I see. Totally can't turn like th that up like that. I suppose it's not entirely possible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway, that may be it, but right now, there's only one path open to us. So, we have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what. As long as we get our hands on him, I think. Kiri Giri angry! Kiri Giri showing emotions for the first time! Kyoko. Mr. Headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're yeah, you're right! So then. Well our business is done here, for, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um Oh yeah, oh yeah, good idea, Mon. Yep. Then I'll. Uh. Huh? Is it really that dusty? I mean, wait, I mean. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> I'm not guarding it. Yaka's gonna be so mad at me. Let's avoid, let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. Good call. But if you left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is pounding away. My heart is. My heart pounding, pounding, pounding away. It's pounding the finger. <laughs> You're still not bad at the whole breaking in the head. That's a remark thing, are you, Mon? A lot of little matters. A lot of little matters, and I are even a little. I'm a little jealous of you guys who joined that indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building. I feel a building. Now I'm really angry. Might have a building for rage. Please. No good so angry one. Here, let me talk to your center of your chakra. <gasps> I 
It's just not gonna lose it's it's your brains, okay? When you do something to me, I, I do it right back! An eye for an eye and a fang for a fang! Fang for a fang? Fang for a fang, man! Be careful, he's a chan to take a different lesson! No, it's just the same. Oh, I see. What, what are you talking about? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Correct. So it's night time. Hey. What do you wanted to do? Celeste was the one who suggested a night time rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still wait up beyond night time. It'll make me feel better anyways. Uh, um... I agree, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. I can probably any words left me feeling anxious for the rest of the night. That was back in my room. I got lost in thought. We learned from Walter Ego kept spinning around and around in my mind, and around and around and around. The administration of Hope's Peak plan all of this. They did this tragedy. What's happened the year before? And apparently, the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries are, are making me worried. But still, I have to try to un unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. It's time for Magma Theater! Let's talk about the. Let's talk about where I was a, a, a bit before I came in there! At first, I was a total loss! I had no idea what I was to become. A lady, our a lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a strip. She was like, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really, really incredible offer. Once he laid out all the details, it turns out it wasn't a tiger pond like I'd hoped, but a po little popcorn shrimp. That's, a, that's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to become one myself. Plus, something like that might have come around and stepped on me. So then the lady told us, totally tired of laughing at me. She told us, like, you think we could do a tiger part on our budget? I told them I decided to become bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Hmm. Nice to know. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I thought it was not a bearful day. Where's the bear pun? First thing I need to do is head to the dining hall. I had it myself. Well, Makoto, 
I'm really not surprised. Sorry about, sorry about that, Mon. This came earlier. See it. Here a few minutes earlier to get into my life, Mon. What? Well, why? Because Kyoko just left. Kyoko? Serious. No, Makoto. My kind and girl glad. This one delights with the people who have watched it happen too. Seems to be saying, you know it's true. Hmm. So I can hurry up and make it better. Yo. Yeah, I'll see you at breakfast, Mon. What am I supposed to do? Tell her the truth! Hey, Takami! What do you want? I'm well about the breakfast meeting. That's enough. You always expect you always expect me to go. Right. As long as I'm here. I say as Miyake, but what we made of the stuff that Yotrigo told us. Actually, I know I better not. I'll everyone's camera to cut this for sure. What? So, um, well, Goodbye. Hmm. he's gone. Good morning, Hina. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> hey, so yesterday, you're so kind of cool. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. You know, Alter Alter Ego was his friend. So, um... I was thinking, I was kind of thinking the same thing. When stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it. So really glad you said it for me. So thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Usually like totally normal, but when your talent comes out, bam! It's probably like superpower. Cause I mean, I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like you always know what to say about. It. So it's just something to do about it. Even before yesterday, are you talking about the plus trials and stuff? I mean, stuff is. That stuff is just uh, kind of took care of itself, you know. Mm. It totally didn't. Um. Your power and Sakura's I'm sure, and everyone else's, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. I'm right. I am right. Huh? All right. Oh, the guy's lightning spirit. Let's go get some grub. He's right. Even the road's long. We will keep him forward. Never reach the our goal. In the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what, what are you staring at? Oh, Toko! What's your problem? What, do you think your eyes were rotten by looking at me? <laughs> what the fine, heck? Fine, just don't look at me! <sighs> I, I think he's surprised to see it. The breakfast mean is all Mon. Mm. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? Master, Master said he liked to. Uh, Master said he likes to grill and have some meat on her bones, so. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down to my stomach until I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose! I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <coughs> well, 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 other than that, it looks like, like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said. Oh, she said, come by later, Mon. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. <coughs> I'm not even trying to hide anymore. <coughs> and I know, I know I said well, you try you try you try to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show that much. Just a second. You're dirty Makoto, dirty president of dirty dirty, dirty Lordlandia. You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type of takes the stairs of love three years up to the time, aren't ya? I'm telling you, it's not like that. What the heck? Just up already, Hina. You were in your filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. <laughs> it's no use denying it. You can all see how disgusting you, you are. Huh? Sh 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 shut up. <gasps> you, and that lusty, you and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go to, out for your illicit club meetings. Oh. Hey, knock it off! I can't do something like that! <laughs> I 
you, you've been you've been nice exactly your activities and we put us in even more danger. Please Don't stop it! You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk tight. Going all that extra credit. Your screams are like that of the screech of a violated blackboard. And, and. It's all amazing that decent ideas are coming out of one after another. Would you rather have your eye, would you rather have your eye black, black eye on the right or the left? Sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. Let's leave Tuck alone, Mon. She's gonna look funny from all her pent up frustration. You know? Anyway, you killed you and Kiku, you make it already, Mon, you know? <coughs> Coughing. Yeah, I know. I totally know. Me, the. We need more bonding, but I already knocked her out. I mean, of course, I want to get things better as soon as possible. But everything going, that's going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. How about now? Um, Sakura? What it? What is it? You make some time later, I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, not Kyoko's not, not Kyoko, Kyoko dumb dumb. Kyoko's trying to run Sakura's heart. <laughs> you and he, Mikado don't care who, who, who they are as long as they got all the right equipment. Just What's up, Sakura? Mikado's transformed into a wild beast. A beast. Prime Minister, wild beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Can I, talk, can I talk? Wait till tomorrow. I like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these past last few days. Huh? Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that? That's because of that battle. Must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm, sh I'm sure our protein shake and some sleep will get me get back on my feet. You got it. That that's true. Protein's good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys, you guys like worship protein. Is some you guys something, Mon? Okay. Look, look at I don't know what it is. You want to talk to Sakura about? You gotta see it till tomorrow. He's in pain. Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. Well, for now, let's, let's eat, Mom. Eat, eat. I'm kind of nervous. Huh? Huh, how come? What's your problem? Cause, cause I don't eat from other people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What the heck? What about your family, Mom? <laughs> oh yeah, well, I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. Huh? Yeah, two moms. <laughs> what? That's just how things things were. <laughs> It's like a serious issue! Uh. Let's let it go, you're asking for trouble getting involved more than you have to. <laughs> How dare you speak with me in that disgusting mouth of yours? Oh. Stop being little like that! Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Uh. Your miserable situation, Mon. Pretty miserable situation, Mon. I scrapped on the breakfast as fast as I could. I immediately headed back to my room. I had to wait till the morning. I had to wait, had to wait till tomorrow morning to confront Sakura about what I saw. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm kind of relieved. I had courage to stand up and face the face and face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Mm. All right. Go. Okay. 
Alright. Uh oh. Yeah. Hi, Kyoko. Bye. Uh -oh. Do -do -do. Need to talk to Takami. What? <coughs> What's the matter? Think about who you might like to kill? <laughs> Well, then choose wisely. In this game, loss means nothing less than death. Mm. So I think I'll talk to me for a while. Sure, why not? That's fine. Fine, fine. I don't, allow, I don't mind allowing you the, the, the dolls in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. <coughs> I spent some time with Tagami. Yeah, we can live closer together, I think. Give him a present? Yeah, sure. Bastard, how'd you get your hands on this? How'd you get your hands on this? You know, collected the force of the tired to get a corporation enough to attain this gem. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this. Seeing Bianca makes me happy, I suppose. Hmm. Listen, Makoto, I, listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. What could Bianca want to ask, talk to me about? Am I feeling about this? Um, so, sure, what's up? You know, only a chosen few of us, only a chosen few, perhaps one percent of us, are, are able to succeed in life. So, in other words, For the other ninety-nine percent, their dreams never see, never come true. Some never even ha have a dream in the first place. Spending, spending every walking hour tolling to scrape together a bigger living. Just barely getting by. What? I just don't understand. If there is any meaning to a life like that, why are you asking me? <laughs> because you're, the, you're probably 99%, of course. Why do you even feel the need to ask? I, knew, I just knew he was going to stop me somehow. Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that. So I'm interested. So tell me. How's a Philippine little wife without hope, without potential, ambition, or dreams? Come on! I don't have, a, I don't have an ambition or dreams? I haven't felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or, or anything, but... Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of the, of the 99%. That's how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that! Sorry, I cannot speak, I can, I cannot speak the truth. No matter how you, you push and struggle, people like you will never be positioned to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would have changed. Your existence is of no consequences. Or that's true or not, it doesn't matter. If you live a normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spend all my t time comparing my life to... If I spend all my time comparing my life to others, people's, I'd never be happy. Sure, maybe you can do that. Maybe you can do that. You're guaranteed success from the day you were born, so... What? Hold it. From the day I was born? You have no idea. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no conception of what that truly means. That I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. 
That is why I am the chosen. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you. Ran away in the world of self-indulgence. Battle, com 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 competition, rivalry. You all run away from it. That's why 99% walk the path they do. Such ignorance. Good God, you absolute lack of understanding makes you want to weep. After, sh after showing a surprising amount of emotion, the Gami left made his way to the exit. Look on them! He's acting totally normal up until up until up until I said things about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. I'm gonna set him off. Because I'm thinking about Byakuya and went back to my room. Lively at time. So you go somewhere. To the warehouse. Oh, hello. Get your transcribe again. Are you hiding here? Are you hiding in here from her? The others have flocked together as usual, I see. <laughs> they need to be careful. Going too close will only cloud their judgment. Hmm. Should I talk to you back for a while? That's fine. That's fine. I, that's fine. I don't mind you allowing this all to my attention. Hope you appreciate this. Some time with Tagami. What's the day? Remember present? Definitely. That's a rare, no, that's a rare moment. I mean, from a noble family, I've never, I never exposed to its vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Huh? What? It's a proverb. It means if you can only obtain something inferior, that's still better than longing for something better. Yeah, I know what that means, but so what? In other words... Put it, put it another way, if, if all you have is, nearby, is a nearby loser, that's better than a proper assistant far away. Hmm. Makoto, be my secretary. What? Hmm. I've worked with someone like you, never hoped to earn more than, say, $100,000 a year. That's my secretary, you be guaranteed an ample salary and job security for the rest of your life. An honor being my birthday today. How about I I'll tell you ultra, already impossible expectations by oh five point five. Five point five dollars? For the math. Five hundred fifty five dollars? That's like board member money. What? Well, of course, of course, my secretary, you won't be a mere servant. At some point, I will want you to become the actual assistant, you can lead on important projects. Assuming you produce acceptable results, 
you would could easily become part, a corporate member, part of the Takami Corporation. So, in other words, you have no reason to refuse. So, I'm so serious. I don't get why we seem serious about. It. Still, I. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say no. I'm trying to give you the chance to end a battle of life and claim victory. Most commoners would never get that chance. This is a, literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. You understand? This is your chance. This is your one and only chance to rise above the 99%. So that's it. Are you really so scared of having to fight, compete, in order to win? Not that I'm scared. It's that I want to see my, it's my own efforts. I want to, I want to find my own battlefield. I want, I don't want it to hand it to me. I, I want to earn it. I want, to I want to find something that I'm willing to fight and die for. The only way I'll be satisfied. Hmm. You meant what you said earlier. If you can live a life, if you can live a life that you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I see. Hmm. I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad to see you passed my test. Not your test. Naturally. That's right. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes me physically ill. Wait, so then... What? So the offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. I don't need you spreading r rumors that Yaki Tama Yagami doesn't, doesn't honor his word. She's so paying me to do nothing. Uh, wait, I almost regret my decision. Hmm. But I must say, I, don't, I just don't fully understand you. You don't want to fight, yet you don't flee from ba the battle either. It's like I said, for me, how come this comes to the living life I want to live? Not easy enough to say. Hmm. Interesting. Now you have to enforce your will until the very end. Hmm. If you can do that, if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'll be forced to acknowledge you. That's not what I'll do. Someday, absolutely. I don't think much from you, but I'll be waiting. Yay, Marcel points. We're done. I'll head back to my room for a little while. Attention, attention! Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. It's time for another motive! Quickly, 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 quickly! You may as well ask to come to the gym. My am pretty sure about too. Last one. You lost one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? Me. However, I have a bad feeling about this. When when's this a feeling? Probably. Can we just call us all together after all? Me. Sakura. Well then. Makoto. Makoto. Something happens to me. Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No. Never mind. So then. I'm. Whatever believes in someone who doesn't believe in themselves. Um, Sakura? Everyone was heard the announcement. Once we were all together at the gym, it began. Well. Okay then, let's get on the road! Woo! <coughs> you're, about, you're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? Hmm? That's right. Got us together, 
You always come together to present another motive, right? Is is he right? Huh? Did you go through this again? <laughs> I gotta get you more one. I see. <laughs> I'm impressed. If you love the dismay, you finally see, I fi you finally see just how low in the totem pole of life you really are. No, 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 I guess I got gathered out here today so I can get rid of my grudge! Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course. I don't you call you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you I told you yesterday. Then I an eye for an eye and a thing for a thing. <laughs> That's it. Stop stop being around the bush. Just tell us what you're speaking talking about. <laughs> I'll be I'll, I'll be Akia, you already you know, tell everyone about uh, you, you, how one of you might be working for a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... What's well, tell us tell you about that spy? What? Hey, um... So guess what? <laughs> spy's actually... Spy's actually Sakura got me! So, he says so openly, it made it sound like it was not a big deal. Even though he's just revealed a huge secret. What? What did you just say? Said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What are you talking about? You're a liar. There's no way Sakura's a spy. Um. Right, right Sakura. Huh? Sakura. <laughs> I just might make Sakura fulfill the promise he made sometime soon. If she doesn't, I can't see what happened. What happened to, what happened to the hustles of mine? That's all I want to say. You guys just knew that person is up to you. Kills, kills, kills. Rush your world killer. Don't kill. Whatever. I can't wait. I can't wait. No. It's like that. He was gone. I finished the way he's been talking about. An eye for an eye, a thing for a thing. In other words, betrayal. We met with betrayal. What the heck? Uh, so what does this mean, Mon? Is it true? The ogre is really buying the mushroom for us. Uh, for the mushroom mine, Mon. What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. <clears throat> but that's what the that's what animal said, right? Wrong. You're wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you do, do is just tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Serious one? Oh, good for working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sleeping lying to us this whole sleeping lying to us this whole time? Huh? It's not true. Sucker's probably just being controlled. Maybe some some reason that the choice is being forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure he is right. Mastermind pipe throwing her somehow and Sucker had no choice to do what to do what she was told. Yeah. What you're talking like you know that for a fact. So I do know that for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. That's when I heard it. Monokuma mentioned this hostage a second ago, right? During their fight, I heard Sakura say, decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. Hmm. You saw all that? I just want to take a hostage, so you're forced to swear low to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means, Speed Sakura is our friend, or isn't our enemy? Is our friend who can we trust without question? Is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. You live in some kind of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. Just a mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. <laughs> He's right, Mon. You can't just believe whatever she says now. <laughs> How can we be so sure that you really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is this double buff. He's doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. Okay, okay, then Sakura. If we really did get, get out of the mastermind, 
tell us who they really are. Well, well. I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't. You don't know. That makes you even a bit more suspicious. Please. The truth. You gotta, you gotta believe her. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. her. Come on. Next question. What's this all about um, a promise? What did the master mind order you to do? Ugh. I was told. I was told. <clears throat> to kill one of my friends. It's only for like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. Where are those words? I see. I see. So even now you're taking aim on our lives. Wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, Sakura never do that. Don't yell! We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible! Cause you're, you're not listening to me! Wait. Please stop. You don't need to offend me any further. I had to take responsibility for this. However... How did you intend to do that? Huh. By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them, even if it means we'll both go down. I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That's how I intend to take responsibility. Huh? Hold on, leave me if you ever go down. Hina. I'm, so, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. About this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confining you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But, but... Sakura! I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... <sighs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such... It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. Well, well it's night time, we should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this little thing sucker is! Don't make me repeat myself. Over. Sorry to me. Any more to discuss? That's terrible. So Sakura's not in me. Why? I didn't even understand her. What? What is it exactly you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? That's. Calm down. I'll let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it is going to help anything. Why? But. Anyway. Go to your room, cool down, and we'll continue the discussion tomorrow. Mm. It was the worst. The mood at the at the end of the night was just the worst. It was an awful mood. We were honestly glad that the day was over. Sakura's the spy. The traitor. Byakia said Sakura is the enemy. But he's wrong. He's not my enemy, he's my friend, without a doubt. What can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? How about Mecha the Theater to me up? As long as you're human. As long as you give this bit, wait, I always got a point that but she did things differently. Even as a player it's a, in the major leagues, a second player touring Europe. And Taylor Singer started her career as a backup dancer on the Sketch Comedy Show. She makes a, a great debut, but instead of going for more, she raised some third rate actor in the tires. Every human being has to regret that they like to go and that can change. But I don't, because I'm a bear. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over!
over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I'm right, Zach, right? You had to get to the dining hall. But I'll do that next time. Oh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this this little thing. Ugh, I, I, gotta, I gotta edit this stuff faster and stuff. Or, but in the meantime, if you wanna help out, help help me out with this stuff, I have an Amazon list list. You wanna give me something a little on it, or I have a Patreon. If you have any spare money in this pandemic world, but, but we can't afford to like that. A simple like comment and subscribe helps out the YouTube algorithm all that much and don't forget to click that bell icon what happened next with Sucker's Betrayal I don't know in the meantime never stop learning enjoy the randomness I'll see you next time bye <laughs>